Hello everyone. Thank you to my YouTube channel. Today I have an elder from a congregation meeting last night talking about he and other elders got their butts chewed out by the circuit overseer from the government body because they fell to how would you say uh, brainwash the kids to bring the kids underneath their wings and encourage them to be strong, stronger, bold in the ministry advance them in their congregation privileges so they can work themselves up into giving talks, maybe become a minister or servant, an elder in the future. But since when I was a kid, elders hardly even spent time with children and encourage the young guys at all. But they seen that something's wrong with the kids today, so they figure, well, let's put the blame on the elders and the parents because the Jehovah Witnesses children, especially the boys, are not reaching out for the government body. So I'm gonna play this talk and we'll take it from there. My experience, what I would have loved to get from the elders and from my parents, that Jehovah Witnesses was a cult, an evil religion, and that would have helped me not become one and stay one and got the hell out of it. When I was had my own place, I would never re, would have returned. If the elders really wanted to help us in the congregation, they would have told us that the Watchtower is a demonistic cult religion. That would have been very nice if they would have told me that. Sons and grandsons. Yeah, I wish that would have been real nice. My dad would have told me uh, this would be our last district assembly 
our last kingdom hall because we are or we was in a cult. No, never told me that. I have a question. If the generation passed your the past your home for witnesses, all the old literature and books that was published that you studied and the ones that you took door to door, did you really read and search and found the lies that was in those publications? That you could have warned my parents, my parents could have warned me about the false doctrines, the lies that was published in your literature? No, y'all did not. Some got out of these religions, but the ones who stayed in overlooked Watchtower's lies and saying, the famous words, ooh, ooh, in due time, Jehovah will straighten the matters out. Jehovah will give us clear light while these things I'm looking at right now are making no sense. That looks stupid. Wait on Jehovah. People, Jehovah is just a name on a piece of paper invented by the Catholic religion. It's not even God's name. There is no letter J in Hebrew. So you can't make Jehovah without a letter J in Hebrew. So let's keep going. Modern day evangelizers benefit from remembering people and events from our theocratic history. Well, there are three reasons. Number one, so that we may never forget. And number two, that we may never depart from Jehovah's righteous standards. And number three, make them known to others. So can, can, can you see what they did to please Jehovah as we listen to their stories or maybe read it in, in the Bible and how Jehovah blessed them? Well, now, how can we do this today? Well, he gives a suggestion occasionally discussed during family worship articles in the Watchtower series from, from our archives. And if we are single, we, it says our personal study. See, look, look at those. Now, let me give an example. Uh, in the February 15th, 2015 Watchtower, on page 31, it had an article from our archives. 
Okay, I'm going to stop it here for a second. Watchtower Archives. It's Watchtower Archives written by uh, the Old Testament from the Bible? No. What about the Greek parts of the Bible? No. They are the ones who wrote the their books of the Bible. Did they have Watchtower Archives at that time? No. So the Watchtower Archives is a bunch of baloney because it's not the Bible teaching. It's written by humans that was not directed by God or Christ to write. Okay, let's stop right there. First of all, a Gentile person is not anointed part of the 144,000. That group is male Jews. Jews. Descendants of Christ. Americans are not descendants of the Jews nor Christ. So they are not part of the 104,000. You probably wonder why I got a picture of Hitler. Hitler had one thing. He made the Germans believe they are superior race and every person should bow down to them of their Superior. The AI, he was no different than these men here today of Jehovah Witnesses' government body. They control all Jehovah Witnesses, except one, he's dead. And they, just like Hitler, if you don't obey their rules, they don't shoot you for conspiracy against him, they will disfellowship you by kicking you out and you lose your family, your friends, and all that if you contradict their teaching and the false doctrines. Witnesses, these men is no better than Hitler. You, if you hated Hitler what he did, then you got to hate these men. Because there's seven men. Hitler was one man. Wake up. If you can imagine him destroying your faith in Christ, these men did the same thing. Thank you and have a nice day.